have to admit I'm hard pressed to get too enthusiastic about reviewing putters. And whilst these putters are very different, they are putters. Even if you're not interested in buying a new putter, don't go anywhere because this is filmed at one of the best links golf courses in the UK right now. Wallasey Golf Club have given us access to their incredible greens and let's not forget this is November in the UK right now. Once again, Callaway has relied upon artificial intelligence from supercomputers to design their new lineup of putters, of which there are plenty to choose from. Now let me start with a huge compliment. These putters have a super premium finish and are without doubt the best that Callaway have released to date. The shaft is premium, as is the components of each head design and even the head cover exudes quality. A clear window in the AI1 lineup gives you a look at the technology from within your putter. The colorway is very different than any of the competition out there and works really well allowing alignment markings to become extremely prominent. The first point to reiterate is just how strong that white line is off the blue. Love it as an alignment aid. Roll out a bit, roll out a bit. Not quite. I mean I've mentioned um, in our voiceover just as to how good these look but i mean i can't stress in hand the visuals don't do them justice because they uh, and that's the visual from callaway by the way not ours because i just think these are so so good on the eye i challenge anyone to uh, not like these in terms of that looks department but the question we really want to know do they hold more puts and if they don't, why am I paying £289 for the AI1 White Hot and a staggering £449 for the AI1 Milled? The basic premise of AI is to design a face insert that provides a more consistent ball speed across the club face. In the same way as we don't want to lose ball speeds for off centre strikes with driver, we want the same consistency with our putter. The two face inserts that have been AI designed are a new white hot urethane face and a titanium milled face. And trust me, the two couldn't be any more different. How do they differ, I hear you ask? Well, feel, sound and ball speed. Yes, I said it, ball speed with a putter. To keep it simple and concise, the white hot face is, well, hot. And the milled face is not as hot. The important fact is both are very consistent and the choice of which will be a personal preference as opposed to one being better than the other. In fact, my own preference would be the considerably lower priced AI1 white hot i simply preferred the softer feel but back to the question do they hold more puts and once again keeping this simple the answer is obviously no but my interpretation of callaway's ai goal is to achieve greater consistency and therefore the concept of fewer three puts might be a more achievable goal a more consistent pace should hopefully mean we arrive closer to the hole more often the problem is that isn't an exciting fact, and why I struggle to get enthusiastic over a putter review, and why you struggle to watch. It's a great idea to uh, really get sharp on your putting, because you can hold putts 
with these size a hole they've got on the practice greens at Wallasey. By the time you get out onto the real course, can we do one? Oh, I haven't hold one yet either. I thought I would do it on camera. Back to the actual putters themselves. And the real big difference for me, I mentioned that obviously there's two different types of faces, mill titanium or that uh, very familiar white hot urethane face. Before we talk about what's behind it in terms of that AI, the faces themselves are so, so different, hugely different in feel, can't stress that enough. The white hot, uh, so ba the basic way to explain this is similar length strokes produce quite different results in terms of how far the ball rolls out. Now, the white hot rolls a lot further with a uh, equivalent length stroke as that of the milled. And it's just a personal preference whether you like one or the other, it certainly pings off the white hot uh, a little bit faster to say the least. And the other decision you might make your choice on is based on what greens you play on. I would think on slower greens, maybe this white hot would be uh, the one that you would sway towards, but it is really, really a significant difference. And that one last comment I wanna make before we shut this down, I'm still trying to make putts on these miniature holes, by the way, is that price point I'd love to know your thoughts because, I mean, I do feel that that 449 on the mill is really pushing the limits. I mean, that's, you know, that's driver price. It's a lovely, lovely piece of kit, but I do think that is a real asking price that Callaway have stuck on that. So yeah, 449 for the mill. Let me know what you think of that. Let's have one more go with this little tiny hole. No, I could be here for a while. So let's end it there, shall we? If you want a new putter and happy to part with a higher asking price, then I'm sure you will love the AI1 lineup from Callaway. And if you don't, well, I just hope you enjoyed the wonderful backdrop of Wallasey Golf Club.